Hello, my beautiful basilisks and mythology in mine. You can call me Eminem. And today I'm going to do an 80s gameplay. It's not ordinary gameplay in the sense that I'm going to be playing it, but this is post recorded, my voice. <laughs> so I'm just going to comment on what I think of the game, tips, and obviously the mythology part. <laughs> Um, for the next episode, you tell me what do you like, if you like more of one thing, less of one thing, or whatever. I also would like to say, I am not really good at games. Um, I will not suck at this one, because I have played beforehand, so if what you're looking for is raw reactions, I'm sorry, I can't give you that. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, father. So, yeah, obviously ancient Greek people fear death, but not in the same way as us. Because our society right now is really thanatophobic because we are not used to live with death every day, unlike them. So death was a little bit more normalized. So the PS4 controls for this are X to accelerate and move forward, like that little quick thing he does, square for your basic attack, triangle for your special attack, uh, with the sword is that slap he does on the ground, and with the circle, I don't do this right now, but later you will see, you threw your own blood, which is pretty disgusting. <laughs> Also, there are going to be conversations and I don't let them speak all the way through because it gets too much for me. So I read them and pass. If you don't have time, just pause the screen, read it and then continue. <laughs> it's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> In Hail, noble cousin. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. I love Athena's design. I love that she's with her armor because she was born that way. I love that she has her shield in one hand and her owl in the other. I love how still how she seems rough but calm and you know and pretty also because she was really pretty. I love it. I think it's a really great design. I think her skills are also pretty canon too, in the way that they are all defense busts, so they, she can give you defense against enemies, defense against traps, and also her special ability is deflect. I have big deflect for my basic attack. Also, if you notice, the last reward we took is a key. Keys are used for unlocking weapons and unlocking new abilities in the ability tree. This one was bound to show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me your... About Ares' design, I like how he seems like a little crazy but collected, um, how he seems really defiant and, you know, warlike, but I don't like that he was represented with a, with a sword because his weapon is the spear. And also it's that contraposition with Athena, you know, like she has the shield and he would have the spear. I don't know, it's a little thing. So Ares' skills are more centered in extra damage, which is great, I really like them. The one I have picked uh, when I kill an enemy, and then my next attack does extra damage, but all his skill set is really great. <laughs> As you may have noticed, in the last dungeon I took a droplet of darkness. This is used for permanently increasing your abilities in your skill tree. Um, the God's blessings they give you, you lose them when you die. But the things you can improve with the darkness stay forever. <laughs> so I would recommend to pick them over the, the keys because you will use less keys with time. The reward for this dungeon is a centaur's heart. This will make you have more health points. And I find it funny because you know, uh, centaur's blood was supposed to be really toxic. 
Also, I'm going to pick coins over Artemis because I love Artemis so much, but her skill is in a place where there's a mini boss. Uh, mini bosses are signed to you as little skulls uh, below the, the reward they told you you're going to get in the next dungeon. I'm not ready to fight mini bosses yet, so we have, if I have the option not to, I will not to. <laughs> Coins, uh, unlike keys and darkness, are not permanent. They will disappear. They are used specifically to buy things uh, within the dungeons uh, from current. <laughs> I love current. And when you die, you lose them. So I recommend that if you think you're going to die, to spend them as much as possible. I've just realized I haven't talked about the setting yet, so I'm going to. This is supposed to be Tartarus and I think it's pretty nice, you know, you get the feeling that it's dark, it's a place for punishment, it's full of blood. I will put also have put it, you know, fire because of the flagellant, but it will appear later, it makes mythologically less sense, but more sense in the way of how you play a game. <laughs> but I don't know, I really like Tartarus a lot. So as you can see, here is where we can use our coins. Uh, Karen always has three random skills, objects, whatever. I usually go, go to buy health and skill from the gods, but sometimes there aren't any <laughs> or you don't have enough money. Uh, you can also see that there is a pomegranate. In the other room, there was also an option. It's honestly the thing I use less because I don't care. It's used to increase the level of the skills you already have. Meh, I don't know, I'm not into them. But you know, it makes sense canonically because of Persephone. <laughs> the skill I have brought from Ares is one of my favorite ones. When you use your special attack uh, in a few seconds, it infringes a lot of damage to the enemies. I think it's really great. And about Karen's design, I love that he has his ore with him. I love that he has his sachet of coins, but also has coins, you know, uh, for decoration. <laughs> I love that he has only one eye and resembles a skull, but he has a strong arms for rowing. I think he looks really great. I'm going to talk about the lore of the enemies. Uh, when you fight enough times against them, this will appear in your guide, but I already have, <laughs> so I'm going to talk about it now. <laughs> so the witches are those who threw uh, purple orbs at you. There are the shade of mortals who practice dark magic during their lives, presumably involving harm to themselves and to others. They only appear in Tartarus, and there are two versions of them. The normal ones fire one purple orb, and the best version of them throws three. They are pretty easy to fight, especially if you have a Athena's power, because they deflect their attacks and destroy themselves. The Wretched Loud is that monster who looks like Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> but with a calice in their hand. These are the shades of mortals who were unusually aggressive and pleasant and uncouth in life. They are pretty easy to kill too, and they only have one attack, which is a fast, long range rushing charge. The Wretched Thug are these big fellas with a club in their hand, and these are the shades of mortals who were particularly brutish, cruel, and scrupulous and violent with life. Their weapons are fought in the river sticks. For me, these are the easiest ones to kill because they only advance really slowly to you and you know they only attack uh, if you're really close to you. So it's easy to fight them. The last ones we have seen for now are the numbskulls. These are vicious natives of the underworld that roam relatively free and often attack wandering shades. Uh, they don't use weapons and they only attack uh, using a fast, mid-range, biting lunge. These are also pretty easy to kill. They can be annoying because sometimes you don't see them coming, 
but nah, they don't they don't pose much of a threat. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Hot Sagrius. Not one. Come on, Meg. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Just... Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good... I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. So this is Meg, or Megara. I'm going to call her Meg, I'm sorry. Uh, she is one of the three Furies and the first boss of the game. Um, she was supposed to represent jealousy in later depictions of the Furies and she is not to be confused with Megara, which was uh, Heracles' first wife. The Erins or the Furies, uh, both names are valid, <laughs> are really old deities. They are born of Uranus' blood. Um, we don't know how many they are, we know that there are, are at least three, but there could be more. Um, Megera punishes um, crimes of infidelity, because the arenas are punishers. They kind of work in the underworld, I guess. The gods do not like them, so they stay there. Uh, we know that they have whips, so I like that she has one, and it's her weapon. And I don't know why she has only one um, wing, maybe that's canon too, I couldn't find anything about it, but it resembling a bat's wing, it's okay. <laughs> and I don't know, I think she's really pretty too. <laughs> As you can appreciate, I'm going to die pretty soon, uh, but she's not that difficult to kill. When you die, you automatically respawn in Ada's palace, in a pool of blood, and there are a lot of characters in the palace, they always have different things to say, so I'm going to talk to all of them. I'm personally, I'm not going to say anything uh, until the last one, so if you're not interested, you can always skip, I don't know, like maybe half a minute. Welcome to the house of Hades, where... Wait, I know you. Guess that means you died out there, huh? Some of us more than others. Back already. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight, thank you for that. Be on your way indeed. What do I care? You shall... There's a good boy. I grew nauseous merely listening to this. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions. You watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take it. You've returned. Good to see you, lad, despite the circumstances. Remember your training out there. And fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. The House of Hades. That dark and lavishly appointed layer of the Underworld's king. You know I can hear you, old man. You have come home. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and... I believe it, Nex. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a consider... The risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this event. Yes, we are. How goes it, Shanes? Now I'm going to go to Sagrius' room. Uh, in there he has his skill tree in the hey, mirror, where back. you can use, you know, the droplets of blood. The first ability oh, I'm going to take is the Death Defiance, because it would let you uh, revive in the middle of battle with half the Mm, HP you have so it for me it's the best ability and then I'm going to take one that heals you one point uh, every time you leave a dungeon chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual oh come on it's not that bad is it no it is not my room is usually worst <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you if you made it this far. Please do tell me if you want maybe shorter but more edited videos, if you want longer ones, um, if it's too much information, too little. What do you think? What would you like to change? Anything you want. <laughs> anyway, have a nice Iron Age. Bye!